Sometimes, picking a programming language to learn is almost as difficult as actually learning the language. This is because there are just so many programming languages to choose from. In this video, we will be explaining why there are so many programming languages, and why there is not just one language to do all things. Reason number one, some languages are developed by industries. An industry does this in order to design a programming language specific to its business needs, and to have full control over the language in the future. For example, Apple used to use Objective-C for its products. However, Apple later created its own language called, Swift, which is specifically designed to be used in Apple products. Besides Apple, there are many other companies, such as Facebook, Google, and Microsoft, that have designed their own languages to suit their needs. Reason number two, some languages are designed to fit a certain application domain. Some languages are simply designed to perform some tasks better than any other language. For example, COBOL, is developed for business use, mainly to perform monetary calculations. On the other hand, PHP is designed for web development, while C is used for systems programming, because of its ability to access low-level addresses. Reason number three. A person might create a new language because they might not like any of the languages in the market. A prime example of a language created by this reason is Python. Guido van Rossum, initially designed Python to create a language that has concise syntax, while having clear readability. His language turned out to be a huge success, as Python is one of the most popular languages currently. Reason number four. Some language is a superset of another language, which means that the language is simply an extension of another language. For example, TypeScript is a superset of another language called JavaScript. TypeScript can do everything JavaScript can do, but TypeScript has more functionality than JavaScript. Reason number 5. Languages with different programming paradigms. A programming paradigm is an approach a programming language uses to solve a problem. Three main programming paradigms are, imperative, functional, and logic. In an imperative programming paradigm, a program is a sequence of commands that modify a program state. Almost every programming language nowadays follows this paradigm. Chances are, if a programming language allows you to manipulate variables, that language is most likely imperative. In a functional programming paradigm, a program is a composition of math-like functions that do not modify state. This allows different parts of a program to be independent of one another. Hence, the program can be run concurrently with multiple CPUs. The primary examples include Haskell and Lisp. In a logic programming paradigm, a program is a collection of rules that constrain the search for a solution to a problem. In this paradigm, a programmer tells the program what to do, but not how to do it. The primary programming language that uses this paradigm is Prolog. Reason number 6. Languages with different design criteria. When designing a language, there are multiple criteria at play. Some of these include Efficiency, how efficiently can a program be translated to zeros and ones, also known as machine codes. Expressiveness, how easy it is to write complex procedures and structures. Uniformity, do similar things behave in a similar way? Simplicity, are the underlying concepts simple? Readability, is a program easy to read? Cost, what does it cost to train programmers in this language? And what is the cost of maintaining programs in this language? These criteria are often in conflict with each other. As an example, it is difficult for a programming language to have both high efficiency and high readability. This is because the more readable a language is to humans, the further the language is to machine codes. Therefore, an easy-to-read language will take longer to be compiled. Balancing these trade-offs leads to new and different programming languages. Those were six different reasons why there are so many programming languages currently and most likely in the future. I hope you found this video helpful. Computer signing out.